Hi friends, Misha Poor here, Vice President for the Division of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion at West Virginia University. And today we are kicking off the season of WVU's Energy Express. I'm filling in for our normal host, Zach Harrell, because I wanted to come to you today and talk to you about something very important, inclusion. Today is June the 19th, and today we celebrate Juneteenth, a very important celebration of the emancipation of enslaved African Americans. While it's incredibly important that we celebrate our history, it's also important that we celebrate and respect each other each and every day, no matter our differences. Every person deserves respect, and every person should show respect. So how do we do that? Well, we respect each other when we listen to understand a different point of view or learn about someone else's experiences. So let's talk about respect. We respect each other when we really listen, and I mean really listen for understanding. We are not all meant to think the same or see the world the same. It's good to learn about others and how they see the world. And we are respectful when we listen to others without making fun of them or attacking them when they think differently from us. So what do you do if somebody is disrespectful towards you? First, breathe. You control you. We must respect ourselves enough to not lose control and become disrespectful ourselves. And second, tell a trusted adult, someone like your parent, a grandparent, a teacher, or a coach. When I have conversations with my friends, I do my very best to show respect all the time. My friend Kurt, the fuzzy nub, well, he looks completely different than me. But what we learned after talking is that we have so many things in common. So I've asked Kurt if he'll come and he'll talk with us. So let's go and check out that conversation. Hey, Kurt. Hey. You want to introduce yourself to our friends at home? Oh, yeah. Well, my name is Kurt, and I am a pink fuzzy nub. So you say you're a fuzzy nub, Kurt. Yeah, I am a fuzzy nub. So what is a fuzzy nub? Well, we're just kind of these things that are fuzzy. <laughs> well, that makes it kind of yeah. easy, doesn't it? Just things. And so give me a day in the life of Kurt the Fuzzy Nub. A day in the life of Kurt the Fuzzy Nub. Well, I start the day out with all the other fuzzy nubs. We just wake up. A lot of us sleep with our eyes open. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so that's a little weird. But we'll wake up and we'll just do our thing. If someone comes and gets us to do a show, we do a show. If they come and get us for some other reason, like brushing our hair, no brush our hair. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty simple life. Although at night, sometimes we do get a little crazy. Crazy? Oh yeah. My! That sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. Are all fuzzy nubs the same? Well, no actually. We're all very different. For one thing, almost all of us are different colors. Mm -hmm. There's a few of us that come in pairs, but not much. Mm -hmm. Some of our furs have different textures. One guy has no fur at all. There's even one guy, he's only got one eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his name is Al. Al? Yep, he's also a lot bigger than the rest of us. Well, I tell you what, it sounds like fuzzy nubs are amazing. Oh, yes, yes we are. Do you ever feel like people sometimes treat you different? Oh, yeah, sometimes. You see, they think, oh, they're just puppets, they're stupid. No, 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 we're a lot more than that. And I know that, because I've got to talk with you for a while. Oh, yes. So how do you deal with that when people feel that way about you? Well, it can be a little difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly all of us deal with it in our different ways, uh, but usually I just tend to ignore it. So give me some ideas about what we could do to make sure people are showing each other respect. Ooh, let me think about that. Mm. Take your time. Well, respect, uh, just be nice to people, you know? That's the main thing. If you see someone, don't be mean to them. Just look at them and be nice. Be kind. That's what all us fuzzy nubs do. We love to be kind to people. Being kind is good, right? Oh, uh, yes. And you said if someone looks different. Well, we all look different, right? Yeah. We're all unique in our own way. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, what about conversations? How do you approach conversations to get to know people? Well, usually you just start with, Hi, my name is... Kurt. And then we'll go from there. And we go from there. If they walk away, they walk away. If they say hello back, they say hello back. Well, I certainly hope they wouldn't walk away because I know you, Kurt, 
you're a very exciting, interesting person. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, our friends at home, there's a lot of friends at home that don't look the same, and they have all kind of beautiful uniquenesses, right? Right. But the beautiful thing you just said is that we're all family. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it. Now, tell me a little bit about your performances. Well, we depend on the performance, really. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they'll get us out and we'll be used for practicing in the classes. But other times we'll do special rehearsals mm -hmm. and we'll do special shows called lip syncs. Lip where we sing along to songs, but it's not our voice. We just move our mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really fun to do. Well, I bet you some people at home do some lip syncing too, don't you? Oh, yeah. I like to lip sync. Some popular people do. I think so too. And so, you know, you had a friend that did a performance today and you perform a lot too. How many times do you perform a, a day? A day. Mm. Well, it depends on the day, but uh, usually we perform a couple times a day. What would you say about a year? Oh, a year? A lot. A lot. A lot. Well, you do an amazing job. You oh. do know that, right? Oh, well, thank you. Well, Kurt, I heard that some of your friends are performing the Little Red Riding Hood. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Should we go check it out? Oh, I think so, yes. Would you like to introduce them? Oh, of course. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> the WVU Puppet Mobile presents Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> there once was a little girl named Little Red Riding Hood. She was named this because her grandmother had made her a beautiful red cape with a big hood. <laughs> As it happened, her dear grandmother had fallen sick, and Little Red Riding Hood had been given a basket of delicious baked goods to help cheer her granny up. Here you are, little lady. Thank you. All right, you hold tight on to that now. I'll try. All right, you got a good grip on it? Mmm, this smells good. My mom makes the best cookies and cakes. This will help Grandma feel better for sure. <clears throat> and so Red began her journey to Grandma's house with the basket of goodies. I'm on the way to Grandma's house, Grandma's house, Grandma's house. I'm on the way to Grandma's house to make my granny well. Do, do, do. Red's grandma actually lived quite a distance away, and the path to her house twisted and turned through a thick forest. In the woods, there lived many different animals. One such animal was the wolf. Now, this wolf was very unusual. He walked upright, wore a tailored little suit, and, get this, could talk. <sighs> I love cakes, pies, and especially cookies. One day I hope to open my very own bakery. <laughs> What's that I smell? Do I smell? Yes, I do. I smell cakes and, and pies and, and cookies. <sighs> <laughs> I'll go hide to see who it is. <laughs> I'm on the way to Grandma's house, Grandma's house, Grandma's house. I'm on the way to Grandma's house to make my granny well. <laughs> <laughs> Why, hello, little girl. And I am the wolf. You are? Uh, 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 I'm Little Red Riding Hood. Why, hello, Red Riding Hood. And may I ask, where are you going with that wonderful basket of yours? I'm going to my, my grandma's. She's sick. This basket of goodies is to help her feel better. Grandma's house. Mm -hmm. Basket of goodies? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, why are you such in a hurry? Why don't you spend some time with me? We'll even have a chat or two. I'm sorry, but I must go. Well, I have to get to my grandma. <sighs> Not so good. <laughs> Where did she say she was going? Grandma's house. It's Grandma's house. And that would be. Oh, don't look at me. I'm not going to help you. <laughs> Forget it. I'll formulate a plan of my own. 
I'll just find this grandma house and I'll just be in there before Red finds out. Then I'll take grandma's place so she can think I'm her. Yes, full proof. Then I'll get all those goodies for myself. And so, the wolf did exactly what he said he would do. He arrived at grandma's house, somehow, well ahead of Red Riding Hood, and introduced himself. The wolf, as it turns out, was not interested in eating old grandma. He only wanted the pastries. He tried to get Granny to leave the house to enact his plan, but she wouldn't leave. Honey, what are you doing here, you nasty, stinky wolf? What? What? You're the one who's always stealing my pies and wipe your feet. Yes, Grandma, it is I, and you must leave quickly. Oh, uh, there's a fire. Yes, yes, a fire. A fire? I don't smell any smoke. Also, who presses you? Okay, number one, ouch. Uh, number two, you have rats. There are no rats in this house. Uh, you have termites. There are no termites. There's a tornado coming. The weather's fine. Will you just please leave? No, I will not leave. The wolf kept trying to find a way to get Granny out of the house so that he could pull Red into giving him the basket of goodies. But nothing worked. Forget it, it's no use. Finally, the only sensible thing that he could do to get her out of that house was, of course, to eat her. Oh? Wait, what? Oh, no. Oh, no. Better start running. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Can't run for me, Granny. And so the wolf ate Grandma and dressed himself in one of her nightgowns, adding a nightcap to complete the disguise. Uh, hey, eating people. Oh, what's that? Assume he could hear Red Riding Hood singing and knocking on the door. I gotta hide before he sees me. On the way to Grant's house to make my granny well. On the way to Grandma's house, Grandma's house, Grandma's house, I'm on the way to Grandma's house to make my granny well. Hi, Grandma. Mama sent you this basket of goodies to help you feel better. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh that's great. Come in, beauty. <laughs> Why, Grandma? You sound so different. Well, I'm clearly not myself today, that's that's for sure. <laughs> Why, Grandma? What big eyes you have. Why all the birds to see you and that lovely basket of yours. <laughs> Why, Grandma? What a big nose you have. Why all the better to smell those delicious goodies. Why, Grandma? <laughs> what big teeth you have. Yes. All the better to eat all those wonderful goodies in the basket. Renee wakes out of bed and chases Red screaming around the house. <laughs> Well, that was easy. Hey, okay. where did the basket of goodies go? It was right here. Yes, yes. Oh, there you are, my baby. Ah, but I'm so full of grandma that I don't have any room left in my tum tum. Well, I could just sleep in the bed and take a nap. Then I'll have the goodies later. And so the wolf crawls into bed and quickly falls asleep. Mm. 
Meanwhile, Little Red Riding Hood, who was, of course, very upset, fled into the forest, crying for help. Help! 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 <laughs> Help! you, Help! 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 Oh, it's a beautiful day today. You know, I just love my sandwiches. I love the egg sandwiches. I love the tuna sandwiches. I love the banana sandwiches. I love the bologna sandwiches. I love the peanut butter jelly sandwiches. And of course, I love them all with plenty of pepper. Pepper on the egg sandwich, pepper on the tuna, pepper on the bologna, pepper on the peanut butter jelly, pepper on the banana sandwich. Help! Oh, uh. Help! Help! There's a wolf, a girl, wearing her clothes, mm -hmm. it's a basket of goodies. Mm -hmm. oh. hmm. Wolf, grandma. Mm -hmm. Basket of goodies. Uh, tell me, tell me, where that sandwich is involved? Uh, 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 there, there was bread. I don't know. If if bread counts, uh, honey. Whatever. Hey, you just tell me where your granny lives. Okay. Or better yet, from where your granny lives. Okay. And we'll see what we can do. All right? Okay. All right. You lead the way. <laughs> Wait, granny. Okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. All right. Back at Grandma's house, the wolf was still deep, deep in sleep. Cookies. No, Daddy, I'm a material wolf. When the woodcutter and Red arrived, they entered the house quietly on tippy toes. Did he say tippy toe? Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Is this that wolf? Yeah. Uh, let me take a look, see what we got in here. Hmm. And here's that the basket of goodies? Yes. Let me take a few oats. Sorry. Need more pepper. Will you say focus? What, I like that? Oh, oh. So, what if you die? Nothing to play. Oh, no! Oh, wow, that pepper was really strong. It, it was so strong, in fact, that it made the wolf sneeze so hard that it blew Grandma right out of his stomach. Oh, wow! Did we drop? You want me to drop my sandwich? Oh, oh, yeah. What happened? What's going on? Grandma, it's you! And you're okay! Uh, <laughs> the power of Peppa! Ah. <laughs> and but so... It's not just good on sandwiches, it's good for sneezing out old ladies, too. <laughs> <laughs> and so, Grandma hugged Red, and Red hugged Grandma. They both thanked the woodcutter, who went on his merry way. <laughs> You're very welcome. Remember the cripper. Oh, yeah. Remember the cripper. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the wolf. Uh, you see, he was feeling really bad after eating Grandma, when all that he really wanted was some scrumptious baked goods. Oh, I am so sorry for eating you. Grandma and Red felt sorry for the wolf. And eventually, the wolf and Grandma opened a bakery of their very own that sold many, many howly good cakes, mouth-watering pies, and cookies that were to die for. Ooh, let me give a try, please. Hmm. It needs a bit more better. Oh, Grandma. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> the end.
And here they are. Alrighty, thank you so much, friends. Thank you. Don't get lost on your way home. We'll try. Wow, friends, what did you think of that show? Well, guess what? I got some really great news for you. We have the star of the show, Little Red Riding Hood, right here to talk to you today. Little Red, come on in. Hello. Well, you must be absolutely exhausted. I am. That was such a great performance. Oh, thank you. So tell us a little bit about, you have all these different characters from every part of life. How do you all get along? Well, it starts just with communication. We all get to know each other first, and then we all just become friends. Well, tell me a little bit more about the big bad wolf. I mean, he has big teeth, big eyes, he could be a little scary, mm. but he wasn't that bad, was he? No, he just wanted them some goodies from Grandma's basket, that's all. Taking a little bit of time to talk to him and get to know him a little bit more seems to under, and you understanding him helped out. For sure. He just was hungry. He just needed some goodies. So we just offered him some after he, you know, apologized for eating grandma, but <laughs> he realized it was a mistake, so hey. And we all make mistakes, don't we? Of course. And we have to give people an opportunity to come to us with respect, talk to us, listen to them, and then we can figure out how we can get along, right? Yep. As long as we communicate, we can always find a way forward. I love it. You're a great example of friends. Yes, thank you. I mean, I tell you, you really got some good tips for us. Thank you. If people want to get more information about your performance or how to be a puppeteer, where should they go? They should go to www.wvu.edu and from there they can find more information on the puppetry program. Well, I tell you what, friends, you got some good tips from Little Red Riding Hood. She told you to show respect, to talk to one another, and give people an opportunity to sometimes have a bad day. If they might make mistakes, you might even make mistakes. And when you give people a chance to communicate, things could get better for you. Again, Red, you did a wonderful job. And I bet you you're probably hungry, right? Yes. Well, I hear that we may have a friend that's cooking up some great things in the kitchen. We're going to scoot over there to see what they might be cooking up. Okay. Hi, I'm Molly with West Virginia University Extension Family Nutrition Program, and today we're making egg roll in a bowl. I've washed my hands and our cooking surface, so I'm ready to get started. For this recipe, you need just a few ingredients. One pound of ground turkey, one egg, one tablespoon oil, a quarter cup low sodium soy sauce, one teaspoon of ground ginger and two teaspoons of ground garlic powder, and then one bag of a coleslaw mix with shredded carrots. So the first thing we're gonna do is get our skillet going. We're gonna add our one tablespoon of oil to our skillet. Ground turkey is pretty lean, so that's why we're gonna add oil in addition to the ground turkey. If you were using ground beef, you probably would not need to add any additional fat. Mix this until it's brown and the meat has reached 165 degrees. Okay, I just tested the temperature of my meat and it is well over 165 degrees. So I am going to add in all my egg roll ingredients. I've got my two teaspoons of garlic powder, one teaspoon of ground ginger, 
and a quarter cup of low sodium soy sauce. Mix these all together. This smells delicious. Now I'm going to add my coleslaw mixture and it may look like a lot, but it's going to cook down significantly. And this is so bright and colorful with the purple cabbage and the carrots. So we're going to cook this until the vegetables are tender. Our vegetable and ground turkey mixture is all combined and the vegetables are nice and tender. So now we're going to add the egg and you're going to make a well or a hole in the vegetable mixture. And if you're brave, you can crack your egg right into your skillet, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in a bowl and then get it in the skillet. And we're gonna let that egg cook up a little bit and we're gonna scramble it in our hole and then incorporate it into the rest of the mixture. I've got the egg all incorporated and now I'm going to serve it up in my bowl. This looks delicious. You've got the purple cabbage, orange carrots, the green cabbage, plus our egg and our ground turkey. All that's missing is a fortune cookie. So here is our egg roll in a bowl would be a great and quick and easy weeknight dinner. To see the full list of ingredients and directions, check out our YouTube channel or our website and I hope you join us back here again real soon. Thanks so much. Well, friends, that about does it here at WVU Energy Express. If you liked our conversation today with Kurt, you should tune in for the rest of the season because I hear there's gonna be some great puppeteers popping up. For now, thanks for tuning in. We hope you have fun. And like they say, when you know better, you do better, and we all can do better. So until next time, have, Have a great, great day. day.